And the market looks this way. Renewed vitality at $2.30. There's already been money for him on track. Larry will tell us a bit more about that. Two ahead of six, five, one and three, the order of betting. As we get to Larry in the mounting yard. The top eight achievements, he looks very, very good. He should have carried the 58 kilos, but he's turned out really well. He's a winner here at his last start, and he got over the top of kill winning option after being on the speed. You can nearly see him doing the same thing again from that one alley. The favourite here on track is number two, Renewed Vitality. Well, it didn't have the best of luck at its last start when it went down to uh, Black Jet. That was here over this distance. Um, he went a little bit hard that day, but uh, I'd suggest if, if uh, Tim Bell can come out and just ride him quietly and uh, so he doesn't pull so hard, I think he'll run very well. He looks very bright. The sole bid, number three. Uh, he's a plain looking bloke, but he's very fit. He wasn't that far away from Mr. Light Blue. That's very good form for a race like that. This. This horse looks very well too, Delago Pilly. Uh, he was away up North Queensland for a while, but since he's been back, uh, he put in a very nice run the other day behind High Sun. I see him doing the same again today. Viking Heart, number five, is in very, very good. Uh, you know, he looks great in himself. He'd probably be a chance at this because over the 1400 at the coast the other day behind Typhoon Red, he got the line very well and uh, the extradition should certainly suit him. Then we go to number six, Trackstar. This runs second also behind High Sun the other day. Pretty good sort of an effort. He's come through the run well. And then we go to the bottom weight, Cap Bianco, trained by Gordon York. Was fourth at Eagle Farm behind Return. That wasn't a bad effort. He's a long shot on course, but probably does doesn't deserve to be that price. The other day, he opened at 2.40 here, into 2.20 now, and that's exactly what it is on the tote. If you remember the last uh, last time it got beaten here at Denver by uh, Black Jet, it was Congo that was in the race, and Congo that missed the kick, and then, of course, as he's normally a leader, he uh, booted up around and renewed vitality, went through to the lead, and both of these horses uh, went very, very hard in front, so much so that renewed vitality uh, went much too strong and he was a victim at the finish by Black to behind Black Jet who had the last shot. Now I don't suppose that this is going to happen today and of course the betting indicates that he's the horse that the punters want, particularly on that effort. Timmy Bell, well he knows the horse inside out and he did ride at last start. Yes, I've gone two to win from six, five and four. I thought Trackstar could be a bit of a hope here too after his last run behind High Sun. Um, now Trackstar's open at 5.50 and if it's worth reporting, he hasn't moved off that. He's 4.30 on the tote. They're keeping him nice and tight. The five look great parading. It's hard to get hold of at times as Viking Heart. 5.50 out to 6.50. Um, Collis to ride him. And uh, his run at the Gold Coast behind Typhoon Red was a pretty good effort. Although I think this, this could be fractionally um, a better race. I put in Delago Pilly for the fourth placing. He's 7.50 out to 9.50 and 8.40 on the tote. Liked his run. I've been on this horse a few times when he's raced well in Queensland or down here in Brisbane, but he went north and uh, it looks as though he's come back. He's going to get a nice run from there. I've done this way. 2.654 and Geoffrey Gould, he's the rider of Delago Pilly. We go back a little while with Delago Pilly and uh, you had a good record on him. Yeah, I won my... Uh first three rides, first three starts yeah. I had on the horse I won. He was going really good, Graham had just uh, had his first prep for the horse and um, we didn't know that he was going to keep, keep stepping up like he did. He sort of started off in a class four, I think on a Friday night at Caloundra and worked his way up to a no metro win that was uh, quite a good win here at Doombin and uh, yeah. Long time between, uh, a lot of water under the bridge I should say. Now he's had a trip right up north and he's come back and then that run the other day, that was a good run wasn't it? It was a good run and it wasn't a bad little field either you know, um, I think they're all sort of, they're all around the mark those sort of horses and it's just a weight difference in between that sorts them out. Um, the good thing about this horse was uh, when Graham campaigned him up north to Mackay and up to Townsville is that we uh, sort of got him out of the, the idea that we thought that he was just a 13, 1400 metre horse. We got him up to got him up to the mile and he and he, and he won well up there in the in the Mackay Cup. So we know he can run the trip, Larry. Right, mate. Okay, Lone Assassin, you've got that in race five. Yeah, I uh, would have liked to have had a better draw on the horse. Yeah. Um, it's been going really well. I don't think it's missed a placing in its last nine starts, but um, we're going to need a bit of luck in a, in a pretty good race from that draw.
Right, little brown horse in race eight, nicely weighted now that you, with your allowance. Uh, going really good. Um, first ride on the horse today. Um, seems to get back, so we've got a good draw. Hopefully we, we won't have to get too far back on her, but, um, she, you know, she runs up to what she did in the gold market the other day. Uh, didn't have the clearest of runs over the last concluding stages, so she should be, should be around the money again, you'd think, in a competitive race as well. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Larry. Okay. Very well, Geoffrey. Uh, well, the betting indicates that there's three horses that you look at here. It's Renewed Vitality, the best back, 240 to 220. That's what it is on the tote. Number six, Trackstar, hasn't moved off the 550. And number five, Viking Heart, got out 550, out to 650, back into 550 now. General move for that. And $7 on the tote. They're my numbers, two, six, five, and four is out. Cap Bianco. Capienko and the club's colours moves up to complete the line and we're ready to go. Only a small field over the mile. Tactics might be a little bit important here. Ready to run. Lights on. And they're off and racing now. Achievements from the inside. The first to go. Soul bid began quickly. So too did the Largo Pilly. Renewed Vitality will go forward in the early party. He'll probably sit outside the leader in a minute. Followed by Viking Heart and Trackstar. And Capianco went to the top of the field. Into the back they run 1,400 to go. And Renewed Vitality on the outside. Ahead in front of Achievements is going to be steady behind the leader now. Another two lengths away. Soul bid in third. Viking Heart fourth. Then Delago Pilly. Capianco back second last. And Trackstar. Star on the outside as last. Renewed Vitality gets a comfortable lead now. He's not pulling like he did the other day. And by the 1,000 metres, Renewed Vitality travels easily here. He's two in front of Achievement. It's a length away, Soul Bid. Viking Heart is tucked in on the fence and fourth. And Delago Pilly and the last pair, Cap Bianco on the inside of Track Star. Well, Renewed Vitality's get everything his own way. As they come down past the 700 metres mark, he's two clear. Soul Bid about to stride to second on the outside. Achievement's back to third on the fence, followed by Viking heart. Delago Pilly's forced to go wide. Trackstar's trying to get onto his back and Cap Bianco is last. Renewed Vitality. Nothing has bothered him and he led to the turn 500 metres to go. A length over Soul Bid. Delago Pilly on the outside. Trackstar trying to wind up. Achievements on the fence from Viking Heart. Cap Bianco but Renewed Vitality headed up for home. He got away. He's two in front of Soul Bid. Trackstar's on the outside running home and so too is Delago Pilly in the middle. Renewed Vitality led. Delago Pilly and Trackstar getting after him. Renewed Vitality, though, is still the leader. Trackstar can't get there in time, and Renewed Vitality beats Trackstar. Uh, tight for third. Delago Pili or Capianco from Viking Heart. The next home sold bid and last achievements. A uh, lovely ride by Bill. Uh, he had everything in his favour today, that horse. Everything in his favour. He pulled the other day because he drew the wide alley at the mile, and Bill had to stoke him up, and then he wouldn't come back underneath him the other day, but he did today. Because in the small field, he could just let him roll to where he wanted to be. And then he controlled the tempo. And renewed vitality was too good. Gives Tim Bell the first two wins today. Trained by John Thompson. Page 2.21.50. Six track star beaten by the tempo. He's got his hoof right on the till, that horse. He's, when he gets a fast run race, he'll, he'll win. He just just didn't get it today. He'll pay 2.70. Now, four's run third, Delago Pilly, Jeffrey Gould. And seven's run fourth, Capianco. So the numbers in the race are two, six, four, seven. Two, six, four, and seven are the numbers. Renewed Vitality by Reduce Choice out of Real uh, Real Parza. And uh, that's a daughter of Green Desert. And trained by John Thompson and ridden by Tim Bell. Okay, here's your head on. Renewed Vitality going as straight as a gun barrel down the straight. Um... He just had it. Well, he just had to win, really, didn't he? You know, he, he got an easy lead. Nothing bothered him. And uh, Bell just gets him home. Ooh, gee, nearly, nearly came down past the post, that horse, the winner. I don't know whether he got a soft patch or he put in a, a funny sort of stride, but he nearly went. But anyway, he's still there. Three quarters of a length, the winning margin. A length and, th a, length and a quarter between second and third. They ran the last 600. No wonder they couldn't catch him. 33.89, the last 600 for a mile race. The overall time was 136.96. So he's gone 136.96, home in 33.89. Three quarters by one and a quarter. It was a half head to the fourth. Just have a look at him here, come to the line. Now, what does he do here? He's okay. He's going to the line. He's strong there. 
And mm, he just slipped, I think. Just just appeared to slip. I noticed now. Um, yeah, a little bit of a dipsy doodle there at the line, wasn't there, from renewed vitality, but he had already had the race in his keeping well and truly, and he's got the cash there at uh, 220 on Tats. Trackstar 270 and Delago Pelly, no third dividend, breaking a, a frustrating run of outs today, the six-year-old, for his fourth win at start number 27 for, uh, for